Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley, and welcome to this video. This is the card we're going to be making today. This rainbow butterfly. So let's get started. You're going to need a base of Granny Apple Green. So it's a standard um, A6 card base. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White that measures 10 centimeters by 14.35 centimeters. And then you're going to need scraps. So I've got here Poppy Parade. Uh, Mango Melody, Specific Pacific Point, Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green. So let's get started, put that aside. I've got my piece of um, Whisper White in my Stamparatus already ready to go. And the stamp set we're going to be using today is called this one Butterfly Gala. And we're going to be stamping our sentiment first so we know exactly where it goes. And then we can arrange our um, butterflies around it otherwise you're liable to put your butterflies down and have no space for your sentiment so you need to do it this way around rather okay I'm going to stamp that just once more to get a really crisp impression because I think my ink pad needs re-inking wouldn't surprise me I've had it for years and I haven't re-inked it so yeah that's lovely so let's move that out of here and now I'm just going to clean off quickly my stamp using my stamp and chamois which is a great tool okay and now we're going to start stamping our butterflies and this is what a trick I do is until I'm ready to put all my stamps away I just put them on the top of my case like this so they don't get lost and they're easy to find so let's stamp our first butterfly so we're just going to stamp that in granny apple green perfect so remove that okay so that's poppy parade done now i'm going to actually use some gorgeous grape and just stamp it again in the same just make sure I've got the paper where I put the stamp so just press it down yeah so now we're going to do the Pacific point and I've just moved to a block because I think I might find it easier with a block on this tiny piece of paper. Yeah, that'll do. And then let's just clean that. And then the last one we're going to be using is Mango Melody. So stamp that. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so we can close the powering pad. And now we can start to punch. So we're going to be using the matching punch. And you can actually buy this with the stamp set together. So they match together. I'm just going to always punch from below so you can see straight through. And punch out. That's all of it punched. Now I'm just going to get some mini dimensionals out because that's what I'm going to be using. So keep my butterflies to one side. And now I'm going to bring back my stamped piece of cardstock. And I'm going to start to actually, what I'm going to first do actually is stick it down to my card base with some snail. Uh, let's get some snail out. And just stick 
this down. Oops. Stick this down. Okay. And now we can start arranging our butterflies. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals. I'm using the mini dimensionals. And on these big butterflies, I use, I think, about five dimensionals on the back. So just one's will be in the centre and then one on each of his wings or her wings. Okay. And then I'm going to have him coming off a bit there. And then on these baby butterflies, these small ones, I'm just going to have one dimensional. So put that one there. lovely okay so now I'm just going to use some enamel dots as the last bit and these are our glitter enamel dots and I'm just going to get my pokey tool I'm just going to hopefully be able to put a couple up here Okay, lovely. Okay, so there we go. Oh, these um, backings, the dimensionals, they really do get everywhere, as I said before. So there you go. So that's what we, I made before. That's what I just made. I think they're both gorgeous. I just love all the bright colours. So thank you again for watching. And um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to be alerted to future videos. If you want any information about this project, it'll be on the blog post that's on my website and the link is in the description box below. I've also started a Facebook group called All Things Crafty, Crafting with Ashi. And so jump on to Facebook and check that out. All the links are below. Thank you again for watching and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.